Hello Leo, welcome into my channel. Thank you so much for being here. This is Sage Sunset Healing Tarot and I'm here with messages for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus sign. So we're going to use the Divine Tarot cards to get some messages out for you this week. So starting with the playing cards here, Leo, I see that. Hmm. Okay. There's a bit of conflict. There's a space in you that needs to align with your sense of stability. And I feel like it is for your mental strength. Your peace of mind. Yes, absolutely. I feel like it is for your holy peace of mind. Just, I just want my peace of mind. That is the energy. So maybe you are in a relationship or still is in a relationship where there is some conflict going on internally. It's just brewing as if you're constantly having to fight to have that upper hand, wanting your voice to be heard. And sometimes these, these arguments are very passionate arguments, really. You get into them. And I feel like it makes you feel on the edge, suspicious, defensive. So I feel like you definitely are feeling sort of a loss in love. Okay, I feel like your person here, who could be, so this is your person's energy. Your person's energy is of a water sign and that is Cancer, Pisces or Scorpio. I feel like your person is on a break. There's a separation between the two of you and I feel like you are feeling a loss about it. You're feeling, you're looking back at your emotional feelings in this situation and it's kind of heavy. I feel it is in your your stomach area that you feel in your throat. Uh, maybe wanting to reach out to express yourself, looking at what you have lost, Leo. And it's, I feel like breathe into this feeling. I'm really inviting a lot of people to, to breathe. This swords card here is telling me breathe as well. That is air. <clears throat> So there is a disturbance with you and your person. I feel like maybe your person is not taking advances from you at this time. They're in contemplation mode. They're in their heart space. And this person I see is a very loving, gentle, kind, emotionally grounded person, wise, sensible, experienced person who is very abundant, emotional in giving in their, just their attitude is so beautiful. This person is one that maybe you hoped to have start uh, a family with potentially or this is the energy of your person wanting to have had this beautiful wish fulfillment with you but I feel like they're taking some time really thinking of what it is that they want following their hearts going off to really you know just meditate being that place of holding their own inside their heart um, looking into their own emotions that's why I feel like your person is feeling I asked the cards what it is that your person wants and I'm going to reveal that to you a little bit later. So even though there's a separation, there's positivity in the in the midst of things, all right? Okay, so maybe there was a bit, you feel off balance. Uh, you, I feel like you probably do want to reach out to this person as if there's an, your intuition is telling you to reach out and you're wondering if you should go ahead and do so. Oh, you're not following your heart. I feel like you're not trusting your heart space right now. You feel down. Okay. Okay, all right. So for some of you, this could be the opposite where... So either you're, there's something ending here, right? A love ending between you and your person. That's what you're feeling bad about here. Or it could be a, a new beginning, something to celebrate, calling in balance, unity, Calling in the ability to manage your temper more, to balance your emotions more. I see you moving. Actually, I feel like you're definitely moving forward. You're going to get over this speed bump because we move from the 5 to the 6. Leo energy. Yeah, I feel like you're learning how to express yourself in a more loving matter, manner from your heart space. And... So you're coming into this place where you will have more to give and then when you have to give you have more to receive okay so i think beautiful things are coming in for you in love amazing let's just continue mm. 
some of you could be receiving a message getting messages maybe from your person maybe as i said maybe you want to reach out to your person send them a message here this is my message card maybe you want to reach out to your person not doing your reversals so oh my lover's energy are you the one that okay so maybe there is a bit of infidelity between you two in this love connection a bit of looking outside of your relationship i feel like you were eyeing someone else and maybe this is why because your person is so much in their heart space they're so true and so genuine i feel like maybe they picked up on this energy and is just taking a break so remember that this could also be in reversal and this could be you that is on the break after your person okay well I do feel that you have a very powerful and strong connection with a water sign okay there may be more healing left for you to do maybe you want a brand new beginning uh, but they, I feel like you do have a lot to be thankful for. I feel like soon you'll be moving out of this energy of feeling sad and noticing, oh my gosh, noticing what you have to be thankful for around you. But you do feel broken hearted. Okay. Maybe from your person. Okay. So maybe as I said, it is your person that broke your heart, Leo. And I'm, so, you know, so this is the card of being broken hearted. I feel this is also a card of aligning with your stability. Maybe you need this time too to figure out what it is that you want. There's something that you're leaving behind and I'm going to get clarification on it soon. What is the world card here that you're moving past? This is your past energy. This could be... Alright, we'll get to that. But someone has a broken heart. Um, I, I feel like this is also your fear. A fear energy that this person might hurt you again maybe because you are caught up in looking at past experiences and maybe not really giving it a, a fair chance you know if you really want to remain committed in this relationship give, should I give it a fair chance should I listen to reasoning from the other person Okay, so I feel like you're definitely going to be taking some time to work on your values, find a way to feel good about yourself, hmm. find a way to release burdens to um, transform your burdens into light. So let's get my clarification on the world card. Clarify the world energy, please. What is Leo's past energy in love? Someone stealing from you. Past energy for love. You know, what is the world card? Money. Someone stealing your. What is past energy? So I feel like there's someone that you don't trust either with your heart or with money. Past energy for love. In love. As if you don't trust this. You didn't trust this person was going to treat you right Ooh, Piscean energy maybe your person is a Pisces at the bottom of the deck and this is your past person's energy your past relationship or your past feeling the hangman card is also a card of contemplation tapping into your intuition so maybe you're moving mm, out of this energy Moving away from your past person, wanting a brand new beginning. What is the Five of Cups? Five of Cups energy. Five of Wands and Seven of Wands. Repeat it again here. All right, we're gonna find out who. All right, we're gonna find out what is the or who is the page of swords so i want to know what happened what happened is leo cheat is it leo the or is it leo's person's energy what's going on in leo's energy with the page of wands oh my gosh 
maybe some of you are wanting to have an affair <laughs> i don't know it, it is because the lover's card is the card of affairs also because it's even though it's that beautiful divine connection it's also an affair and the page of wands is, is so either you want to have an affair with someone else okay so does leo want to have an affair with someone else who are is leo person wanting to have an affair with someone else is this true love what is this energy true love for leo wanting to go off oh my god got marriage wanting to get married some of you are wanting to get married okay so, i don't know what is the past energy here like your past is so strange triumph and not moving forward maybe you were going around in a cycle with this person oh my gosh that's what it feels like in a cycle maybe this person was your twin flame energy you know maybe that cycle is over now with the death card here this is definitely your past we have the queen and king of pentacles with the world card the lovers the four of wands i feel like this person was definitely your twin flame soulmate energy and they, there was a bit of chaos as if you guys maybe couldn't get to be together be individually as you are and then really form a bond together something is over it's either your connection with this person or the energy between you two the full card how is leo feeling oh feeling good I feel like you're focusing on yourself leo you're feeling good all right, we're gonna get close to ending this reading now. Any other messages for Leo, please, before we get to the last message of the outcome with you and your person here? What it is that your person really desires? Any other last messages for Leo? Any last messages? Okay. I feel like you're being promised a brand new beginning. Something is moving out. You're being encouraged to use your strengths focus on your gifts and also your courage your lioness energy and encouragement and encouragement for leo in this time words of encouragement keep moving forward that you could be you could be become very abundant as if you could get an inheritance <laughs> something could come through for you very well it could be financially stable i feel like in your future you'll definitely be getting an offering a love offering something very emotionally fulfilling the best in abundance from a water sign energy and it could be your person returning from the past all right leo and so your energy for what I feel your person wants is union with you, all right? I feel like this is a secret, as if you don't already know how they feel, you're worrying about it, but your person loves you, they adore you, they want to come back into you with the talk of energy here, make a love offering to you. This four of wands is the card of marriage, union, it's represented over here, maybe they want to rebuild your marriage, okay? I feel like this person thinks of you, but they're really actually thinking of themselves too. How to heal the Ten of Cups energy too. Wanting a brand new beginning. And maybe this is the brand new beginning that is promised to you in love coming in. For some of you, if you don't currently have a relationship, I feel like there's someone watching you. Someone finds you very, very attractive as you are. Wanting, they feel this soul connection with you and they're really wondering how to come in and like send you a message or reach out to you okay so yeah somebody this is between the earth and the fire sign here they see you as being prosperous as just being humble in yourself 
as they see you as a creator, as manifesting, as a living, breathing example, our representation of power of who you are in your most beautiful essence, Leo. They see you as attractive. Uh, they want something new to start with you. As I said, potential marriage here in the cards as well. All right, Leo, that's it. Last messages? Any last messages here? Any last messages? Thank you so much for being a part of this reading. I hope you found messages here that resonates with you and are able to help guide you along your journey. Remember to please give my video a thumbs up. I really appreciate your support along my journey and may we continue to share this journey together. Remember Leo to consider also subscribing to my channel for future uploads and you can be do have everything and anything in this world that you desire. Leo, so dream big because you are all and all is within you. Until next time, thank you so much. Much love to you. Bye.